Welcome to yet another official boycott of Gran Turismo Online Racing. I've done this in GT Sport, I did it early on in GT7, and before really getting into this video, this is not about how a lot, way too many sport mode races currently just won't start because PD's actually done a very rare thing for them and communicated that they're going to fix it. They haven't said what's wrong because I genuinely don't even think they know what's wrong yet, which is scary, but I mean, they've done a very rare thing for Polyphony Digital and actually communicated, so... This isn't even about that yet. If they try and fix it and fail, or if it takes forever to get fixed, then yeah, maybe. But this ain't about that. And also, this isn't going to be just quit racing. If anything, I might be racing more because of it. So let's get into what the boycott is. Yes, folks, I am officially boycotting. This is straightforward and an obvious boycott that can be noticeable between content I was doing before and after. The boycott is that Polyphony Digital, Sony, both, whoever it needs to be, needs to hold dirty drivers accountable who drive dirty in sport mode. That one's pretty basic. Back in GT Sport, Polyphony Digital actually had an announcement saying that they were going to combat the dirty drivers. They didn't really say specifically what was going to happen. But they did have a post back in, I think it was 2018, saying that yes, they were going to address the issue. Did that help? Did they actually do anything? I'm not particularly sure, but... At least back in 2018, they were trying to communicate. Now, they've not done anything. And we're to the point of where stuff like this is happening. This is just one of many clips. This one's an extremely obvious clip. It's the very beginning of the race, and I'm already blatantly getting sideswiped into the wall. And then... That player goes and wrecks the cars in front. And then... Taunts them. I'm not gonna sew the messages yet, because I'll just keep that in my back pocket. As if it's needed, I'll sew it. Because you know what? In the US, I have freedom of speech. And on Odyssey, I have freedom of speech. On YouTube. Posting the video to certain other sites, not so sure. But in Odyssey, and in the United States, I should have freedom of speech. So if I need to sow the messages that I had with that driver. Driver is being nice. And I was nice in the messages as well. I will, but essentially, I messaged that driver saying that you're about to be internet famous, aka this video. And I'll do that with almost anyone that I post videos on. I'm transparent and will tell people before I post the video. And that driver then said they already are. And that they're reporting the initial message. Which is putting them out the nicest way conscience for such a dirty driver can have. If anything, I should have been a, man, a lot meaner. That's for sure. And I have screenshots of the messages. Was reported for harassment. Guess what, folks? This is harassment. This is at the very beginning of the race. So nothing is invoked whatsoever. I have the entire race saved. Of my direct footage. Unedited. What I saw directly. And uh, I can upload. That I can specialitate, analyze, whatever you want to call it too. But this is the clip. Of that driver obviously blatantly sideswiping me. There's no lag. We both have a decent connection. Blatantly sideswiping me into the wall. And from what I can tell, there's also no penalty. And then going and harassing 
the other drivers as well to the point of downright wrecking one of them and slowing a lot of others down. And there's still no penalty. Part of the messaging as well that I got that if needed, again, I will so. I, I might not be posting it on other sites. It might not even go on YouTube. But if needed, I will show it. I'm not scared to do so. Because I was nice. I was in the right. And I truly do believe that. Anyway. Part of the messaging. After I said. You're about to be internet famous. Enjoy. Said first. Reporting it. For harassment. Even though this is. This is obviously harassment. And then said I already am. As in internet famous. I'll be quite frank. The first video that I posted of this week's. Weekly races. Was that there's no way Forza could be this bad. And I will do a full Forza review that is exclusive. To Liber and Odyssey. Just because the ease of uploading videos. Xbox doesn't seem to do too well with YouTube uploading. I've discussed that before. That's not a, a censorship type thing. That's just ease of discussing. Anyway. The point being. I will do a Forza review in full. But anyway, yeah, I don't think Forza is this bad. But in that video, I was showing how a dirty driver in the very first race of when these races switched over was already being blatantly dirty, brake checking, sweeping into people, all those sort of things. And I legitimately, granted, again, I'm legally blind. I've discussed that. I didn't care to look or notice or whatever you want to call it of the actual PSN name of that driver. The first, right when the races were switching, I didn't really see much point seeing who that driver was because it was the very first race. The chances of the driver still doing the race even on a Tuesday, which is when this happened, I figured was quite low, especially happened to fall in a race that I was also doing at the time, no, it's the same driver. And I wouldn't have even figured that out if it wasn't for that driver message. And again, driver's being extremely nice, but I've been extremely nice with that player the entire time, too. Saying, I already am. Didn't say that, I probably wouldn't have even figured it out. Granted, if somebody commented later, then yeah, I would have figured that out. But <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, it it's the same player in all of these. So now it's to more of the point. Again, I have way more to sew if I need to sew it, and I'm fully willing to sew it if needed. And this is also just one clip. If anything, the driver at fault is the one doing the harassing. But honestly, in my humble opinion, this is bigger than any individual driver. And also, the reason that I'm doing this in this format and not just having everything in Sarah Factory, is to sew, like, when I go from one clipper to the to another, and it sews the rest of the clips there on what's in screen and switching clips, because that is proof that, yes, I have the entire thing saved, and I have other things saved as well. When in doubt, which is pretty much doing anything on the internet nowadays, fully document everything, because people will dispute claims and they will do what they can for them to be right even when they really ain't. I've had it happen before on sites that I used to have a lot more respect for <laughs> and I've discussed it in the past. People will literally go out of the way to delete everything to make themselves not look like they screwed up. Even when I'm completely in the right and was being nice the entire time, they will not admit that they are wrong and they will delete things, change things, legitimately just omit complete parts of history in order to try and make their claim seem correct. So do everything you possibly can to document anything that could even be construed by anyone whatsoever on, on the entire internet as controversial, which is pretty much anything on the entire internet nowadays, and document things, back up things, do everything you can in your power to sell all of the proof possible. It's like what I've done with the GT Sport re world record. I've tried to document it and explain it in the most all, almost boring detail as possible to show that I truly and really got the world record. And that's something as calm as just doing qualifying for events. 
It's not even actual racing. It's not even anything controversial, really, other than wall riding, but that's more a PD problem. But that's kind of the point. This is more of a PD and Sony problem. Yes, in these cases, it's one driver doing it. But this is bigger than any individual driver. I've said it before. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Doesn't really work anymore. Because some drivers will purposely be a heel in the real WWE simulator. Which is pretty much what Gran Turismo is now. I fully and truly do stand by the video that I made. Gran Turismo is the fake wrestling of simulation racing esports. But... Fake wrestling's had some good and bad times throughout the years. There are some times in which, in general, it's enjoyed by a lot more people than others. And there's some points where fake wrestling was downright considered a disgrace to wrestling in general. At its best, it's more of a fun parody not to be taken seriously. At its worst, it's a downright disgrace to the original material. And this is what Gran Turismo is right now. Fake wrestling does not have to be a disgrace to the original. Fake simulation racing does not have to be a disgrace to actual simulation racers. Especially because Gran Turismo sort of kind of was the original simulation racing. It wasn't even remotely simulator stuff like R-Factor, iRacing, a set of courses, stuff like that. But it even has one up on... The fake wrestling, because it kind of, in a way, was the original. As of now, Gran Turismo is a disgrace to simulation racing. I think that GT7, if it can actually be at its best, can just be a fun parody of it, not to be taken seriously, and just have fun with it. No, it would never be as simulation-oriented as games that I've already mentioned. But no, it's also not trying to be... It's not even the best racing simulator on a console. That goes to set of course competition. At this point, Gran Turismo should not act like it's the best racing simulator anymore. Because it simply ain't. At best, it's a fun parody. At worst, it's this. Same race. Same driver. Still being able to harass others. And from what I can tell, they're still in a penalty. That still ain't even really the worst. Granted, this general situation kind of ends in a positive. Because that driver ends up wrecking themselves, hits the wall, and then gets the penalty. Like, look at it again. And look at, well, like, where the wall hitting and such is. It's hard to tell because it's going in a tunnel, so the lights are different. But I think you can tell just by the angle of the car there that, yes, it does hit the wall. That's what gives it a penalty. Not causing the wreck, it's hitting the wall on an oval, which obviously slows you down. I mean, that's yet another PD logic is hitting the wall. Obviously, it slows you down at Route X, so it shouldn't be a penalty, especially if you're already wrecking. What well, should be a penalty is wrecking others time and again, countless different times. This this time, karma, other driver talent, karma nation, whatever, finally catches up to that driver, and then wreck gets wrecked. And again, driver is as nice as I could possibly put it. I've been way nicer to that player than I ever should be and most likely ever will be again. Because, again, this is bigger than any individual driver. It's not, don't hate the player, don't hate the game anymore. Because with WWE, some players want to be the heels. They want to be hated. This driver obviously wants to be hated. This driver is a prototypical heel and plays the role to a T. This driver knows they're a heel, wants to be famous on the internet, said they already are in messages, and then tried to report the good guy. This driver is an obvious heel. There's really no other way that could be argued. 
So that driver wants to be hated. So there's nothing wrong with hating on that driver. Granted, I'm probably, to the terms and conditions, have to say do it in a way in which still follows the terms and conditions, but different sites and different platforms and different reasons have different terms and conditions. I'll put it like that. Find what terms and conditions work best for you. I'll put it like that. Look for the site that has the terms and conditions in which you agree with most, and then make something about that driver. For me, it's library. Because as far as I can tell, no matter what happens to Odyssey, no matter what happens with the R Reeve uh, partnership and all that, the video will remain on library, no matter what. I'm going to attempt to post this to YouTube to begin with. Not so sure it's going to last there. I'm even going to attempt to post this to other platforms to begin with. Not so sure how long I'm going to last on the other platforms. But yeah. This is all in one race. This is all just one player. And you know what I actually even sold in the last video that I uploaded? It's time to boycott again. Same race, different driver. We're to the point now where Polyphony Digital, I showed it in the first clip of this week's weekly races. Even this various clips in that first video. Which, as far as I know, I actually stubbed that video saved to Sayer Factory, so I guess I would bring that up so you know what I'm talking about this video there you go and yes as you can tell it's the same player the same player anyway the point being is that there's multiple occurrences even Sony in the very first clip and multiple clips beyond that that it's obvious that blatantly racing dirty is not penalized in the slightest. If anything, it's encouraged because it's one that last player to worry about once they are wrecked. If anything, in modern day Gran Turismo, dirty racing is encouraged. Now, I will address the elephant in the room of, oh, this is just weekly race A that doesn't have driver and sportsman separating. So, of course, there's going to be more dirty racing. Yes. But you know what, folks? When race B and C don't start, and when they don't start, for literally no reason I can think of whatsoever, like, I wouldn't even call it a direct logic. I think it's a glitz. I hope it's not logic. I'll put it like that. When the race doesn't even start, not, like, after the green flag, after half the race, anything like that, in my opinion, nothing should be finalized, no matter the reason, to after half the race at the very least. Different people have different opinions on that, but that's mine. It's been NASCAR rules. A race has to get to halfway for anything to be finalized, positive or negative. Whatever your feelings on it, that if the race does not start, like the actual being able to drive your car begins, there should be no DR and SR penalty for the race not starting, especially if it's not polyphony or. If it's not your fault, and it is the fault of Polyphony Digital, Sony, whatever you want to call it. And that's been going on time and again, and of the fault of Polyphony Digital, Sony, I guess at some point we might find out. Whoever's fault it is, it needs fixed, and they actually have addressed that it's going to be fixed. That's why I didn't make it This the actual point of the boycott. But the point being is that, guess what, folks? If people are scared to lose their DR and SR when the races don't start through no fault of their own, if they want to do sport mod racing, they have to do race A then. They can't do B or C or they're going to lose driver and sportsman separating. They're forced to do race A if they want to do any sport mod racing at all. So I can't exactly say, oh, this is just race A. It doesn't matter. Because at this point, this is literally the only race that does matter to most people. Most people anymore, as long as this has been going on. No, to not risk their driver and sportsman separating anymore. Again, they shouldn't be losing driver and sportsman separating. 
And I will give the benefit of the doubt and say Polyphony Digital doesn't even intend for them to lose driver and sportsman separating when it's not their own fault. And it's obvious when things like this going on, it's not their own fault. Especially because they've done an extremely rare thing for Polyphony Digital and they've actually communicated that they're looking to see how they can fix it. Doesn't seem like they know how to fix it, but I mean, at least they're communicating that's more than they do the vast majority of time. I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt and say that's a glitch and not a feature. If it's a feature, oh good golly, I'm going to be doing some rant videos about that. If that's a feature, if Polyphony Digital intends to lose players, driver, and sportsmanship rating through things that are not the player's fault whatsoever, oh good golly, good goss, holy snikes, Jiminy Cricket, I'm going to be doing some rant videos on that if it turns out. That's a feature, not a glitz, but for now, I'll give the benefit of it out and say it's a glitz. There's no reason why it shouldn't be more than a glitz. I'll put it like that. I will put it like that. But anyway, the point being is that people right now are forced to do race A if they want to do any sport mode racing whatsoever. And with this glitz also going on in online lobbies, it's not like they could do that as an alternative either. This glitz is online-wide. Again, this boycott isn't about the glitch yet. I'm not saying that I won't do a boycott about the glitch if it takes a long time to fix. Or, and or they don't know how to fix it. And or they attempt to fix it and fail miserably. Then yeah, that'll be a boycott too. But for now, he, I mean, this is the evidence. You've seen this first clip on the first day. You've seen the clip that so that I'm going to boycott then. And then you saw what I saw in this video. So, yeah. Polyphony Digital needs to hold dirty drivers accountable. Best case scenario is don't just hold the dirty drivers accountable. Make up for the drivers that get wrecked in the wake. Instead, they penalize the drivers that get affected negatively by it. They reward... The players racing dirty. And they penalize the players that are the victims. Again. I have proof that I will use that if A, I get banned. If B, the player keeps on trolling. Things like that. I mean, I ain't going to say specifics because nothing's really happened beyond that point yet. But if it does, I have proof. But it's... That same player. But anyway, yeah. If I end up getting banned. For quote unquote harassment or whatever. But then yet in Gran Turismo 7. You quite literally are rewarded for harassing players. And the players they get harassed. Get penalized. Literally. And there's obvious proof of it. I ain't having that folks. I really ain't. And it's a simple request to end the boycott, too. If Polyphony Digital actually communicates, which pretty recently they actually did a very rare thing and communicated. They haven't said exactly what they're going to do, but they've communicated. If Polyphony Digital communicates that they are going to hold Dirty Drivers accountable, thing, that's step one to the known PD. It's like a 120 step instead of a 12 step program to fix something. And it's one of those where it's going to be one step forward and two ba steps back for the 120 steps. So you can do the math there, to say the least. And, yeah, but the point being is that it may take a long time and there might be a lot of hiccups along the way. But if Polyphony Digital is actually going to actively do something to combat the dirty driving issue, then I win the boycott. What exactly is my boycott? Well... Here is how I'm going to end off the video. By saying that I'm going to do not a lot more videos on stuff like this. If Polyphony Digital ain't going to hold the dirty drivers accountable, then I will do what I can too. You can say that I'm being a vigilante or whatever it may be. And you know what, folks? I'm going to also end off this video by straightforward saying, if Polyphony Digital wants to ban me for wrecking the initial dirty drivers, so be it. If they ban all the vigilantes and do it in a fair way, I have no problem with that whatsoever. If I have time and I have room on my phone, I will actually do a video of how I would go about 
dealing with the combating dirty drivers, the step one is communication. That's straightforward. And I would say my steps, if I have time and room on my phone too. But, in general, it's obvious something has to be done. Polyphony Digital and Tony are quote-unquote professionals. So I may or may not make that video because, I mean, they should have the resources and experience to deal with it themselves. And at this point, I'm far from the only one actually saying it. Am I the only one boycotting specifically because of this issue? Maybe, but I mean, my boycott isn't even all that serious. If anything, I might be racing more. Because if I end up getting banned, whether it's seven day or whatever it may be, for quote-unquote harassment when I'm being nice and it's obvious that the other driver's harassing and being rewarded for it, then I can just go to Forza. I can go Scorched Earth on Sony and move to Forza. I don't have that much to lose. Forza is certainly not the dandiest game. And again, it will get a full AV exclusive library and Odyssey just because of just ease of access, not a censorship thing. And... Yeah, there's that. Worst case scenario, yeah, I get banned from doing nothing wrong whatsoever, and <clears throat> I move to Forza. Obviously, I have an ace up my sleeve, the obvious ace of I just play the obvious game and don't worry about Gran Turismo for the foreseeable future. But, I mean, if possible, I will continue to race on Gran Turismo, even with the glitches, even with the penalty system that might be worse than ever, and that's... Sounds crazy to say, but I've proofed the show it time and again. And, yeah. The reason I'm going to race more, or at least try to, attempt to, whatever, it's because, one, Forza's underwhelming. If Forza was good, I wouldn't worry about it. But, I mean, all of the simulation racing games are underwhelming. I've discussed that before. And, two, because... The more proof showing that dirty drivers are not getting penalized, especially when the victims are getting penalized, it needs to be shown. Tough love is better than no love at all. All in all, I'm not doing this to bash the individual drivers. Like this driver... I'm make, make absolutely serious. Yeah, okay. This driver is an obvious heel and plays the role of a heel, embraces it, and that seems to be what they want to do. Do I agree with anyone being a heel in what's supposed to be the real driving simulator? No, but do I understand why they are? Yes, because the game allows them to be. Obvious heel. They embrace it. I have proof to show they embrace it. There you go. But anyway, the point being, if somebody has to be the face, I'll be the face. In the old days, I kind of, sort of, was the heel. I was the controversial one. I was the one that people got mad because I used a Darlington stripe at a track and nudged the wall one time. Now there's just blatant wall riding in multiple circumstances. Remember the one at High Speed Ring? That whole debacle? And it's still going on in GG Sport till it, till it dies. Like, literally, it's going to go to its grave of people wall riding in sport. And in GT7, I have to go the complete 180 and make it three. Even if you tap a wall whatsoever, you the equivalent of a gnat landing on your car. The lap is completely invalid. They did. They can't have a happy medium. But I mean, the point being is that, yeah, I used to be controversial. I used to be borderline the heel. When I'm out here having to be the face, it, we're 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 at a bad point for the the guy. I never really wanted to be the face. I never really wanted to be the heel. I wanted the real driving simulator be, to be the real driving simulator, but for now, it's this. For now, it's this. Again, I truly and really do stand by that Gran Turismo 7 is the fake wrestling of simulation racing esports. But fake wrestling in the general sense, there's different leagues, there's different time periods, there's different storylines. There are times in which fake wrestling was looked at a lot more positively or not more negatively. Right now, Gran Turismo is 
pretty obviously <laughs> and undisputedly a disgrace to simulation racing games. At its best, I truly and really do believe that it can be a fun parody of it. As you all know, I've done a whole heck of a heap of just fun parody nonsensical type videos. Dirty and Irish Racing League initially started just a fun parody and I put on the accent and kind of just do a, a parody of the over-the-top commentator of Special Take No Talk. Dirty and Irish Racing League, some of the original videos on my channel was just a fun parody. But back then, it was the exception to the norm. It was actually kind of an outlier and an interesting thing. At best now, it is the norm. At best, Gran Turismo is a fun parody of simulation racing. At worst, what it is now... It's a disgrace. So while it is a disgrace, I'm going to show proof of the disgrace. And if I have room on my phone and time to record it, I will say how to fix this disgrace. I mean, I, just being a player, I don't really feel like I should have to do it. I feel like it's almost a slap in the face to be doing so. But I mean, if needed, I'm also willing to be doing it. I have a pretty straightforward idea of how they can start fixing it beyond just communicating again. Step one to the 120 step program where there's one step forward and two steps back is communication, admitting that there's a problem. And they've actually done a rare step one pretty recently for something else, so maybe. But anyway, yeah, to sum it up, the boycott is to hold Dirty Drivers accountable, because as of now, it's the complete opposite. Dirty Drivers are being rewarded while their victims are being penalized, and I've shown straightforward proof of it multiple times. Just in the same week, the vast majority of clips by the same player, but again, this is bigger than any individual player. Until Polyphony Digital, at the very least, communicates that they are going to hold, hold the dirty driver's kennel, I'm going to keep racing and keep sowing their dirty racing instances in which should be held accountable. Because at this point, somebody has to do it. Somebody has to be the face, whether they want to be or not. And you know what, folks? At this point, I've fully embraced that Gran Turismo, at best, is prime WWE. At worst, it's like the crappiest version of Ohio Valley Wrestling or something like that. Right now, it's a laughing stock and it's sadder than maybe it's ever been. Like worse than the, the review bombing it legitimately might be. Not the macro transactions, but the actual racing itself might be worse than it's ever been. And yeah, even if Polyphony Digital at the start communicates it, and then I'll go from there if they communicate it, and then kind of like what I said to begin with, if they communicate it and they have no idea what's wrong and it takes forever to fix, yeah, I might continue to boycott. If they try and fix it and fail miserably, I might continue to boycott. But at the very least, if they say that they're going to hold Dirty Driver's Kennel, that's step one, and I will temporarily end the boycott and go from there. So yeah, pretty simple. I'll play for any digital, Sony, whoever it has to be, combination of both, whatever, has to do is say that they're going to hold their dirty driver's candle. Whether they even know how to do that at the time. Even if they say it's going to have to take a long time to figure it out, combination of both, whatever it may be. Step one is communication. Just communicating it at the very least. Maybe my standards are too low. I wouldn't be surprised, frankly. A lot of the times I should be meaner, and I've kind of understood that as I get older. At the very least, at that point, I went to boycott. If I'm being too nice, then I might continue the boycott. We'll see. That's all that has to be done for now. This is me being nice. This is me being cordial. This is me giving the benefit of the doubt. It can be worse. I can be worse. If it becomes worse then I will be worse. I'll put it like that. It's not really a threat or a promise. It's just depressing. I'll end it off of that. Not a threat or a promise. It's just depressing. Take that as you may, and this most certainly ain't worth a yeehaw. But it's an easy enough fix, and this won't even really affect videos in general. If anything, there might be more videos. If anything, the videos might just be more interesting. And again... 
Forza will be exclusive to Library and Odyssey just because of ease of doing things I've discussed that before. So, yeah, if nothing else, I just move to Forza. If that's the worst case scenario, so be it. I have an obvious ace up my sleeve, and if the best, this can just so polyphony digital do something and things are fixed. I think realistically, it will be somewhere in the middle. How bad or worse that middle is, who knows, but for now, it's depressing and you can take that as you may. <clears throat> it's about the nicest I can put it.